welcome back to Night of the Full Moon. I have been playing this game perhaps a little too much. I went ahead and purchased the DLC. And I gotta admit, some of the classes I do like. One of the classes maybe I just didn't have a good run with, but I don't like. That's the Apothecary. But the other two um, classes were pretty good. The Magician and the Werewolf. So, when I played last time, I showed everyone the night. I figure let's go ahead and go in order. Two of seven. We've already read the Ranger bio, and if you um, want to go over my initial reactions to these classes, then check out episode one. I've got to tell you, I'm excited to get to the Nun. I think the Nun is one of my favorite classes. But let's take a look at the Ranger. Ooh, and we start off with treasure chests. So one of the things we did is we upgraded our little pocket watch you saw on the uh, main menu. And we've upgraded it all the way. There wasn't much to it. And it gave us all sorts of benefits. Um, for one, it starts us off with an equipment slot as the ultimate benefit, which is nice. That means I always start with the piece of equipment that our deck comes with. It also gives us different things in the merchant shop, such as a um, refresh to merchants. Um, and it gives us different types of treasure chests. So here we have a greedy treasure chest. Gives it, or it gives us two things. The thing I like about the ranger, I really do, is their actions. Um, you can see that zeal gives you damage plus one, draw one card, and action plus one. So of course I love that. Um, and I'll use her ability right away. Ooh. At the end of your turn, deal physical damage equal to the remaining action times two. Lose all action. That's nice. I think I'll keep my dodge cloak equipped for now. Uh, discard your hand. Draw two cards. And since it costs zero action but still counts as an action card, it really synergizes well. Let's go ahead and get our blessing. When you draw the last card, deal damage equal to the amount of the cards you own. Action plus two at the start of combat, but only at the start of combat. When you dodge... Okay. So, yeah. We'll keep the lightning dodge. I really wanna learn from the witch. Let's talk to the magic apprentice. And some of these characters, um, particularly the magician, will have different dialogue depending on who you deal with. I didn't notice. Is that a hat? Is that red hair? Because her hair is white. I know it's a tongue for the hat. And this looks very much like the sorting hat. But it also could be hair. I'm going to go with a tongue. Little owl, her mana. I, I love the art on this. But let's go ahead. Um, we only have one action. And we're pretty quick to take her down. Why won't the spell I just learned work? Let's go ahead and we know we, I've done this before. Talk with her will get me plus reputation, which leads to gold rewards. Let's ask about magic. Did you get it? No, oh, you're too dumb to understand. So we got base mana plus one. She doesn't use mana whatsoever, but hey. All right. Oh, I don't like the wolf puppy. They get first attack, if I remember correctly. All right. And actions. Lots of actions with her. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of our basic attack. First is free, then we pay. I only carry the highest quality goods. So really all of these are good. Draw one card, action plus one, enemy suffers bleeding times eight. Um, I like that better than the others. 
So we're gonna keep this around. Um, instead, we're gonna get new things because of our intersection. Our shy chest. I love the chat or the choice. Let's go and pick that up. No, you can't go. Another full moon. It's going to be more dangerous in the forest. And that's that. He doesn't know it yet, but that's I'm that. Worried about you. So once you have your upgrades, these first battles are super easy. You use this to really prepare yourself. Um, let's go to the intersection again. Only cowards. Oh, Even and we have a chance better, to upgrade. I can make it a treasure. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. It only costs ten to upgrade another, but I don't. I'm not a big fan of incentivized because it doesn't give the plus one action. I'll keep the forge around for now since there's this enemy. He reflects some of the damage back to us. So if we're only doing one point of damage, we don't get anything reflected back because it's too small. But these bigger amounts we do. Now, difference between bleed and poison. Bleed will do one point of damage per hit extra, so the next eight sources of damage, he'll take one extra. Poison works very much like poison and slay the spire. With poison and slay the spire and this game night of the full moon, you have the poison that will deal damage equal to its poison number, then tick down one. Next turn it'll deal that much damage. So right now it'll do four. If I don't add any new poison, next turn it'll do three. Bring me the wine. I'm not drunk. You Kay. are. I think I'm gonna Thank want you. money. But more people have been lost, including your grandma. So reputation plus one, but minus Where two gold. Magic that can remove it kind of works. The crows know a lot of things. People sent me to guard this field. Oh, I forget. Oh, right. At the start of the turn, gain one mana for each mark on the magic totem. Ow! That hurt. I hope I level up after this. And you can see this backstab increases for every action we play during the turn. Beneficent and great. Okay, so gain reputation, lose reputation, or ask about past. Let's go ahead and ask about the grandmother. Now, part of the DLC, there's a new story that really only flex three classes. The... I believe it's the knight, the apothecary, and the witch. Ooh, longbow. I'm absolutely taking the longbow. In fact, each time you deal, and I like that better, so we'll use our equipment slot for that. Check these out. You will find what. Okay. You know what? We'll go ahead and exit that. I'll exit that. Yeah, watch out for the monsters in the night. It's late. Where are you going? Hmm. And we'll keep the hemorrhage for next turn. Although Don't he dies. By a seemingly peaceful night. Ooh. Let's see, draw one card if this card is discarded due to other effects, like choice. Restore eight health. Copy the effects of one action card you use this turn. Which is nice. So I think I'll keep that around. Or at least I want to keep that around. Ooh, exile three gold. It's an action. Gain two gold, deal two damage. I do like the gain gold portion of 
the uh, of the ranger. All right. Hmm. Discard one. It's gonna be that. You can see the ranger can go through their cards really, really quickly. That's what I like. Dodge the first... De Ooh, definitely that. And the dodge means that our lightning should go off, I think. <laughs> You're mistaken. I'm not a werewolf. So, so soon, this is an interesting game in for the story. The story is there, but you have to piece it together yourself based on your interactions with many of these creatures. When the enemy uses the first card in a turn, enemy discards other cards of that same type. Okay, well that's easy. You know what, let's go ahead and do that. And backstab is up to six damage. I'm constantly dealing extra damage with my actions due to my bow. I dodged and it took lightning damage. Okay. Hmm. You should be hunting the werewolf, not okay. me. I kind of agree. Let's see. Dodge. Poison. Oh, and out. What? Your grandma. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> She's I've... already in my belly. Ooh. That's not cool. So I have discovered that when you fight a boss, you're basically guaranteed to level. I don't think I've ever not leveled. Alright, so we've gotten our second action. I should have been using my out of combat action more to get treasure. Choose a card from three random cards. Shuffle three copies of that card into your deck. And it costs zero. I'll go and pick up. Um, let's see. I, yeah, that's all there is. Where is my cat? Draw one card plus two actions. That's going to be the best thing for us, I think. Let's turn the page. Next chapter, please. Tell me, adventurer. What is your wish? So we can get spider poison and start a turn. Opponent suffers two poison. Holy wow, that's powerful. Or I guess for the theme of this, holy rabies. <laughs> the start of your combat, add a temporary copy of a card from your deck. You know what? We're going to do spider poison. It, um, and slay the spire. I, is it the poison fog? The one that adds poison every single turn um, by two. One of my favorite abilities for the silent. And we have different interpretations of faith. I think it's good here. God favors people with faith. So do demons. Alright, so what are we looking at? That's actually really nice. Until your next turn, any attacks that deal more than three damage will only deal three damage. Draw one card. I think I will get zeal. And we'll go ahead and do backstab now. Now, in this one, armor, I believe poison deals damage against the armor first. Oh, no, I don't want that yet. Life fades like okay, so you saw that going through those action cards just absolutely worked. Each card has its value. You know, I think I'm going to upgrade that. That's actually a really good card. So Fury, view three cards from your deck and choose one copy to add to your hand. It doesn't exile itself, so you get a free copy. This is especially good when you're using cards like um, Steel, where they're exiled. Okay. Don't miss it. Ooh, I do want the Sawtooth Arrow. 
Let's see, Stumble. Each time the enemy uses a card, they discard another card at random. Last one turn. So this is really good to ensure your enemy doesn't use a lot of cards. Discard one card, deal eight damage. Oh, I'm not... Looking like this. Kids are terrified of me. Oh, poor jungle giant. I doubt you can defend yourself. Look how tiny you are. You know, I'm going to keep backstabbing my hand. We don't need to use it right now. And we're out of actions. Okay. Let's see. The next attack card you play t um, takes effect two more times. Action three, draw one. So I'll do that. Choice. Definitely get rid of that. And you're wondering, maybe wondering why he doesn't attack. I basically have to do lots of damage to him every time I do a source of damage to him. He discards one of his cards. If he has a card in his hand from the last turn, it goes off and it hurts. It wallops really hard. Alright. From now on, you are also my friend. So... I don't think that this and I always bring hope to people in the darkness. I don't think that this initial playthrough, um, the base game has the same difficulty as Slay the Spire. Um, it is somewhat luck based, but it's also somewhat forgiving. Uh, but the diaries that you get for the Apothecary Knight and the Witch is very much reminiscent of Slay the Spire and other games so if you're looking for a harder game then maybe check I there me you <laughs> i also like the unlocks of this I, I, I really do this is certainly i think one of my favorite games i played retropolis retropolis recently and that worked out well and i have all of the current heroes, there are four current heroes of Retropolis out, two more scheduled. But I think I'm liking this a little bit more. If this card is discarded due to, eh, get one enemy equipment card from the field. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, definitely heal. Should have done the damage first. I'm neither coal cinder nor stove ash. I. Okay, almost time. We also refurbished the church. I knew you wouldn't refuse my invitation. Now I'm really happy about this guy. <laughs> this guy doesn't pair well or doesn't do well against the ranger. He basically only takes one point of damage. From any non-piercing source. I think piercing goes through that. And due to our bow. Every time we do an action. We do one point of damage. Let's see. And so we just very quickly uh, killed him. I admire her. For her bravery in risking everything for love. Oh. We, I've only talked about her and the church. What about love? No one understands their love. I'm jealous of them. Courage from it, not bad. Ooh, twenty percent. Oh, stacking dodge. Ooh, but I could get draw one card. Eh, we'll go ahead and do that. Wish I had another equipment slot. Where is my cat? Okay. Plus three action, plus one card. Very nice. Randomly return two cards you discarded this turn. 
And there is a discarding theme. There's a dodge theme. What do we want? Oh, I wanted that. So. <laughs> Why is there a look of vengeance in his eyes? I think this is the first time I've faced Mr. Pumpkin. And what's interesting is the conversations don't trigger every time. I think every creature, or nearly every creature at least, has a conversation option, but they don't always trigger. And the final bosses you face, um, that's going to depend on a couple of things. That And I've only actually... Okay, I faced two, but the werewolf one, who's not Red Riding Hood, doesn't really count, I feel. So, I've only faced one boss, and that is the witch. I'll have to see if I get to the end of this whether or not anything else is unlocked. Um, just to go over these actions, gain two action, restore three health when you play an action card, cooldown three, immune to all damage, last one turn, cooldown two combats. Having these be a cooldown for combats, I'm not so sure that works for me because I'm always thinking I'll hold them for later I'll hold them for later I, I suppose you guys can tell me whether or not you use them more I will say with the actions kind of being out of the way I do forget about them quite a bit Whereas a good player probably wouldn't. Okay, first thing will be negated. And you're way dead. Who says my mind is paced? Not all Go ahead and refresh. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my treasure. Draw one card. The next um, card the enemy uses is negated. Very nice. Also, what's the difference between the cloak? With well, this effect is triggered. If I had another equipment slot, I think it'd be a pretty good dodging chance. Until the next turn, each time you discard a card. You know what? No. I don't really want that card. Your future palm. My crystal ball has told me everything. Each time you draw an extra card, the enemy takes one physical damage. Very, very, very nice. And I'll have three copies of those. Too bad it's not a boss. That'd be great. And she's just dealing lots of damage to herself. Let's go ahead and make a copy of that. So again, it makes a copy. It doesn't get rid of the one in my deck. Choice. And you're dead from poison. So you see, there's not a whole lot of damage reduction. But I cannot change it. Peek of the crystal ball. Let's see what we can upgrade. Ooh, a 25% chance. Absolutely. What about whim? Yeah. Oh, it's just a damage upgrade. That's not why I put you in there. Restore two health, draw one card. I do like the healing aspect of this. And let's go to the next intersection. It's a great way to keep things like merchants that, and let's see, keep things like merchants while going on to other things. Deal three damage, you lose your hand and action. Deal three damage for each card and action lost. Seems. It seems like it's powerful, but it would just 
fill up my deck for now. Are you looking for so me? I'm gonna Where's do some more fights. Medicine? Huh? Uh, how come the apothecary hasn't come this week? Oh, that's right. We can't play the same type of card twice in a row. That can really hurt. I really should have done that. Without me, you will become just like a monster in the dark woods. No one can hurt me. I don't think I fought him either. Let's go and give it a try. There is no other way. I'm gonna keep backstab. Okay, immunity to all damage. Kill the opponent in three turns. Oh dear. I'll definitely want that. Alright. I don't know why I do that. I just need to survive. This is not going to end well. I'm going to die. Oh. Okay. So all I have to do is gain immunity to damage. I don't know why I do any of that. I'll just take the damage. For I too am immune to damage this turn. And he said, I get the achievement storm. And I can tell you a secret if you pay me some gold. The grandma's whereabouts. Oh, kid. Your grandma seems to be around the tomb. So I'm wondering if some of these conversations are going to unlock new bosses. Let's drink from the spring of life because that's helpful. I think Cerberus has first strike, don't you? The enemy has less time to play their cards. Oh, crap. Okay. So, uh, oof. Trying to make sure that I talk and play, but uh, being a little bit of a hurry. All I have to do is dodge one more time and he kills himself, but it wasn't to be. And he dies. We level. Okay, so upgrades. Wow, this isn't very good. So we'll upgrade that. And you know what? Let's upgrade that. What do you got for us? I do want another agility. What you need. I have all of the good stuff. I can feel the treasure here. Okay, I should have probably checked out what he had. Choose and get one um, card from three random cards. Painful blow, fatal strike. Draw one card, action plus... Ooh, that's really nice. I'll take that. So what's your ability? You have a chance of escaping after taking damage. Okay. Get some money. Okay, I don't think I've ever beaten him. He always runs. These potions will change your appearance. 
So this witch would be really, really great for um, anyone who uses mana because base mana is amazing. But experience is amazing for us here. So reputation, we got some more money. I only carry the highest quality goods. Do we want to get rid of our basic attack? I think so. Get rid of the inn. There's also mimic chests, so we do got to be careful. Deal one damage, deal an additional one damage for each card in your hand. That's okay, but... No. I don't really want that. I guess I'll be getting rid of you. Start the apple quest. And I'm pretty sure it's this quest that unlocked the witch for us. So Pandora's box. We can either get minus 15 health, current health plus 15 maximum health, which is really good. Gain one health for each five damage you deal. I'm actually going to do that. I like the healing aspect of that. Don't miss it. I don't need this shop around. Where is my cat? <laughs> deal 20 fire damage uh, permanently exile this card not great right that we permanently exile it hmm that's actually really good okay oh this is a new reward last time I did it with the ranger I got plus 20% dodge which was amazing when you deal down I think I did it with the ranger maybe I did it somewhere else but it did get plus 20% dodge when you deal damage, um, no less than 10, you deal 100% more triggers one time each combat. Yeah, okay, it's okay. So we can get extra money. You know, it'd be pretty easy to get rid of a prank card. All we need is... Even if it's bad iron, I can make it a treasure. An amnesia house. What do we have here? Don't miss it. Oh, definitely want to get that. Enemy suffers bleeding 16. That's amazing. Let's get rid of these bandages. And we're to the pumpkin boss. But you can see we have six pages remaining. So even after we face the pumpkin boss, we'll be able to keep going. All right. Let's see. And we'll end the turn. So he has put some equipment down. The start of your turn, deal one damage to the enemy. But to be honest, I am not that concerned. The next card the enemy uses is negated. Very nice. Let's do Fury. Oh dear. We're just going to be super dodgy. Okay. Wham. Oh. Predetermined route. Draw one card. If this card is discarded, I have to get that. And again, I'll wait for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> he went down really fast. So, flying kick. Deal one damage. Draw one card. If this is the first card you use this turn, the damage you deal increases to nine. It's amazing. So. Don't miss it. I'm going to actually get that. I definitely like the more gold. Check these out. And there should be one more after this. Yeah, sure. All right, so Demoness, let's get our wish first. You have a brave heart. Disable an enemy's card each turn, lasting for three turns. You deal one additional damage. I think we're gonna go with that. Huh? We could also. No, we're gonna go with this. 
What do you have I for us? Carry the Discard your hand, draw new. View the top three. Put it here. Don't even try to touch me. I do whatever I want. No one can stop me. You so she's falling in love with a human. Sorrow. All right. And so we're we're going to become super dodgy. Oh, can we play no cards next turn? It says you cannot play cards during your next turn. Which isn't great. The devil We also fight the devil. Um or can fight the devil. Um he has similar properties. Why? Why did I lose again? So she is just basically I think a weaker version of the devil. Take a guess. Let's fight the ghost doll. Yet another lost child. And we'll want to save that. So we want to start with flying kick. Make sure we get our gold. And fire. Yeah, the ranger's really good at getting, actually getting cards. Whenever you dodge, deal. Okay. I mean, we definitely seem to be going that way. Use the best material at the key point. You know, with our extra damage, dealing damage twice is pretty good. Okay. Check these out. You will find one. I don't really need any of those. The dog. Let's open this chest. See if we want the card. Draw one card, the enemy loses all mana. Very nice. Okay, so the hunter negates the first attack we, we make every turn. Let's see. Hmm. And backstab will do 10 damage and <laughs> 22 damage. Very nice. Stop. Perhaps we can cooperate to catch the monster who kidnapped her grandma. Oh, this is a new option. Um, shake hands. Ah, thank you for trusting in me. I'll teach you a real secret. Action plus one. Very nice. I think that was for being a ranger. The darkness. Is consuming. I came from the darkness, and I shall return to the darkness. Okay. So we'll deal double damage when dodging. Oh, come on. Note that it is dodging, it's not just negating. Exiled, draw one card, freeze. I mean, it's action, which actually helps us out more than you would think. Negated, and then we dodge, and he takes a whole bunch of damage. So we'll put that out. Oh. We should have gone started with that. Whim. Sure, we'll let we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll start with flying kick next turn. Beware of the people around you. 
the darkness is surging. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Let's see what we want to equip. Not that, surprisingly. I think we'll get the most use if we deal plus one damage. Because ultimately we're doubling this and increasing the damage we actually do. Don't waste my time. There is no choice for either of us. I really need to find an amnesia place. Get rid of that prank. But, we continue. Yeah, we're doing lots of damage. Living armor. Hmm. Although I think you're basically dead here and now. We'll see what happens. Surprised that went through. I have so much dodge. Although against the caster, that's not really anything. We're doing pretty good. And here we we talked about the devil. Likes to stop us from doing things, adds pranks to our Yeah, let's go with that. Adds pranks. Which is annoying. Line kick. Yeah, we'll do that. If I dodge, which I'm not going to because I don't have the armor, but if I did, it would be great. I'm just gonna ignore him this time. I also have an eight pack. So reputation goes up one if we ignore him. This is not a good place for the people are dead. Why should I bother? Hmm. Yeah, we'll copy that. I am saying the flying kick is having me rethink my attack choices, and I just died. That was a little unexpected, but oh well. And so, if I weren't already at max, I would get the star points that they would get and get these bonuses, and they're very generous. They, they typically come on a level up, and when you do get them on a level up, I believe they always come in fours. So they're really generous. And then you get the equipment slots. So I think, I mean, that that's kind of disappointing. It was my time to shine and I didn't shine. Um, so if you like this and you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Maybe give it a thumbs up. Share it with others. In the meantime, I'm Nidanoski. As always, have fun.